Oh man, welcome back to another vlog guys. I am pumped. Literally just got here minutes ago. Second cast, I caught like a pound and a half or third cast back to back. You guys got an exciting video. I can't wait for you guys to see this. I'm fishing out here with my buddy Bass and Bill 96. You guys can find him behind the camera at the moment or down in the description if you're watching this video live right now. Check this thing out. I'm super pumped. Let's get the release. There we there go. Back to life. There she goes. Wow, slow and steady. Just chilling. <laughs> Just chilling. We're casting right back in that corner pocket. I'm gonna let Bill get in there. Alrighty guys, I got here just slightly earlier than Bill this morning, so I'm gonna walk over with just one rod and see if I can't get a bite real fast, but he's gonna show up here in just a second, and now uh, we will really grab the whole arsenal, the tackle backpack, the scale, and uh, get to work. So I'm gonna just take this crack and crawl, cast it over here in this corner pocket, see if we can't land a stud right off the bat. Trying to cast way out there. I know there's fish in this corner a lot. Got one. Got one in the corner. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Only like second or third cast. Yes. Yes. Come on up here. Yes, guys, right there in that corner pocket. It couldn't have been a better cast. I got really lucky. So what I did is I cast it from over here. I'm trying to be discreet. It's very shallow and the water's actually pretty clear, okay? And so I casted. I got right in there on the ledge under the bridge. Can you see that? I literally landed right on the ledge and I just popped it right in the water. So there was no splash. It was a perfect, perfect cast. And that's probably the only reason why I caught this bass. If I would have walked up to that corner, he would have seen me. And also, if I would have cast it and it landed right in the water, loud splash, probably would have spooked this bass. Since I cast it on that ledge and just dropped it right into the water, is probably what got this fish right here going. Super exciting. I literally just saw Bill pull in, and we've already got a fish this morning. Pumped, man, pumped. Let's go ahead and get little guy back in the water. Oh, there he goes. We got another one. Guys, back to back. Dude, out of this corner pocket. Back to back, this one's bigger. Dude, this one's bigger. Oh my gosh, dude, no way. No, this is a good one. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to chance it. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Set, dude, back to back cast crack and crawl in this little pocket, you gotta be kidding. Gotta be kidding. I just got to the car and Weston got here before me. Like a couple minutes, I just cast it. I show up. And I parked my car. <laughs> like, a, what, like a one or two pounder? Is like a one and a half or yeah, something. Like a one, one and a half pounder. He's holding one up over the hill. And I was like, oh, sweet. And then I walk down here and I just see him reap into it. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Dude, it really could be closing in I, on I four. Have my, I have my sale. Let's see what it is. We're out here at a private spot that's known for bigs. And so we're going to go ahead and try and put this one back and link up with something even a little bit heavier. How about that? This one's about 388. Closing in on four pounds this morning. Super psyched. This isn't even necessarily the pond I was excited about, dude. The one like right over here that's is, one that I fish. that's, yeah, that's I mean, I and I've never had good luck here. I've yeah. only caught small ones out of this. Yeah, I did bring a jerk bait down here. Oh yeah. I thought about that. The scout's gonna dive deep for this area, but that next one over, it gets deep. Guys, you probably have almost never heard me mention retying on this channel because I don't talk about it a lot, but after those first couple catches, my line is frayed right here just above the hook from their teeth. And it's probably a good idea because of the size bass, well not just because of the size bass that are in this pond potentially, but really anywhere you fish, uh, <laughs> it's a good idea to retie if you're using that monofilament or fluorocarbon line because if once it gets frayed it's a lot more susceptible to breaking and you will lose a big fish over something like that. So you might as well just take the time and retie. I'm going to go ahead and set my Texas rig back up. I'm feeding my quarter ounce Wu Tungsten weight on here. I used to peg the weights a lot, and after making a lot of fishing videos, uh, it's just more time, and so I just I just don't spend as much time with the weight pegs. I, I like using the weight pegs, but I just don't do it anymore. It's just like how I use the swivels on some of my hard baits for fast switches. Like, I, oftentimes I get out and film a video where I don't have much time to fish, but like if I'm retying for 15 minutes worth of the time I could be fishing, 
it's not a good thing for me. I want to make sure I get as much chance to catch as many fish as possible to make these videos better for you guys. And so that also has to do with retying this knot here so we don't lose a big one potentially and we can get that sucker on camera for y'all. And that would be a bummer if we lost one because we were too lazy to retie. So if you guys want to save big on this line, these hooks and these plastics, I get all my tackle for 30% off using Carl's Bait and Tackle. You guys will find them at the top of the description. Save 30% on all your baits like me if you want to catch these fish on a budget, baby. Free shipping. I literally don't even go to stores anymore unless I'm like out of something like flat out and I need it that second. Otherwise, I'm always placing a big order every month to Carl's Bait and Tackle. And that is where I stock up on all my juicy tackle needs. <laughs> Get it? The subtle arts of catch and release. All right, y'all, we're going to make a move to the next pond in the neighborhood. We are on no shortage of gear. I've got four combos with me this morning, bunch of stuff rigged up and plenty more in the tackle box should we run into any issues. <laughs> even got the big camera. so. I've got two hands. This is a backpack, so we're straight. We're getting exclusive access this morning. Thanks to Bill. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and get in here. All right, all right, all right, guys. Bill's jumping on the board, man. Wait, with Sanko crushing it. Dude, Bill caught two, like, two back, back to back, back. <laughs> like, right off the bat on the weightless Sanko. I haven't thrown a fluke in so long. It's what caught my PB. Did you, did you just miss it? Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Guys, look at what we have got. The first fish on a fluke in forever. Right here behind these huge houses in this community you're not supposed to be in, most likely, but hey. <laughs> We're taking chances out here because we know it could produce. We'll be back in the water and try and get some more on the fluke, man. It's been, I say it again, it's been too long. What a fun catch. I can't wait to get some more. Uh oh. He just nose dived into the grass. Yeah, he's gone. Anyways, that was always something with me. I swear. I've, I've done more embarrassing things in the last couple days fishing with Bill than I think I've ever done fishing at all. I need to go get my Mondo Optics out of the car though, so I think I'm gonna sprint over there real quick and grab those i mean it's like it's nessus clips on iphone had to run back to the car grab some more sankos and flukes and the mondo optics so i can see these catches got a uh, lunker log holding my spot down okay we're back let's get this fluke in the water guys i have not thrown a fluke in so long this was like all i threw for the longest time you guys know as soon as I got my first few catches on these, it was a done deal. It's so much fun. They stay just subsurface, which is perfect because of the grass in here. And uh, they're not going to get caught up because you sink that hook right into the top of the body. So I'm not going to be getting caught up in this grass. And the catches on these things are so much fun. You can see the fluke. And then all of a sudden, the white just disappears and you set the hook. And it's a dangerous game. Crack and crawl by the bridge, baby. <laughs> got him. Got him, baby, right here. I'm trying to be quiet because there's more fish in here, I think. So I'm just going to let him go off to the side here. Nice and quiet. There he goes. Yeah, guys, this fresh flowing water and current right here really gets these things riled up and they come in here to feed frequently, I can tell. Uh, I've caught multiple fish here in this exact spot in the past. How are you? Pretty good. Thank you. Hey, boobies. <laughs> We've got a few so far. Yeah, we're having fun. Thank you. Bill and I have really wore this bank out. We're going to hop over to another pond out here and then probably make our way back and fish this one again on the opposite side, the other bank, uh, on our way back to the vehiculars. That one off the fountain was pretty sick. I was trying to keep it quiet. The energy was low. Uh, that's my bad. I, I, I figured they could be stacked over there, so I didn't want to cause a huge scene and riot because I knew I could probably cast back in there and get some more. Today, that wasn't the case. I casted, 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 only got the one, so on our way to the next pond right now. Let's go. Wow, Bill's on right off the bat. 
Dude, I want to fish off like that wall and that dock and that dock and oh my god. Wow, that was luck. I got right under this dock. I doubt I'm going to get a catch. When you get a perfect cast, why would you get a catch? <laughs> now this is cool. This is a place to fish right here. You know what it is? They want a crankbait here. Well guys, surprisingly nothing here. The juiciest of juice boxes. This is just ridiculous. This dock looks super juicy. The reeds look super juicy. Never fished here before. We pulled one out right off the bat. Bill literally got one within the first couple casts. And that was that. We're going to try and hit, I think, the other side of this place. There's one more dock. And then we're going to make our way back to the other ponds and really start to slay. I think the big one is coming up. Well guys, the bite has really tapered off. I'm thinking the last few minutes is gonna be spent here chunking some Sankos out deep, seeing if we can't get some hits right behind this beautiful home with Infinity Pool. See if we cannot link up with a last minute giant before we close this thing out. I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. Let's go ahead and see if we can't snag this gigant tour. All right then, um, well let me know if you get out and fuck, maybe Devin and I will meet you out here after a little bit. I mean, I don't really know. I just wanted to, Tuesday's usually our date night, go to the movie. Oh, do I have a bite? No. And so, yeah. Oh, I do have a bite. Oh. I got a fish here. Oh, it's a little guy. Yeah, buddy. On the phone with Chef Aaron right here. Check out Chef Bad Bass in the description, y'all. Drop shot. Got to catch. Last minute. <laughs> I'm over here. I don't even have my AirPods in, y'all. I'm just talking to Chef right now. Oh, my God. Let me plug this AirPod in real fast. Let me go. Boom. Uh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with that date might be the end of the video because we have not been getting too many hits. And I was really hoping to get on some huge fish with Bill out here. And to be honest, we actually did right off the bat. It's so crazy. It seems like a different day, but literally we've been out here all morning. We've been hustling. We filmed two videos yesterday and uh, just trying to do as much collabing with him while he's in town as possible. He's down here from Michigan and he's been slaying him today. The weightless Sanko has been crushing it for him. Uh, you guys definitely got to go check out his channel and page, Instagram page down in the description if you're on those platforms and want to scope him out. He's got some crazy content. He's almost, uh, uh, he's more than double my subscriber count. Go check some of his videos out and I'm going to go ahead and probably call it on that fish right there. Thank you guys so much. Let's make a couple more casts and I'll catch you guys at the car. All right, y'all, we are wrapping up an amazing day of fishing. I can't believe we caught some amazing fish right off the bat. A four pounder to start the morning just really kicked things off. And then Bill, even after the bite has died, literally just raked up like four or five more fish at the very end of this whole thing. Uh, so I want to thank him for joining me. He really was crushing them on the Senko. I could not get bit on the Senko today. I don't know what it was. One of those things. Anyways, he crushed it. Go check out his video. He's caught more fish than me and his. He's going to be linked down in the description. Once again, the man is killing it on YouTube. Being said, you guys know you can save 30% on all your baits from Carl's Baits and Tackle. Like everything we threw today, don't pay full price to catch these bass, and we'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. <gasps>